This is general lesson part two. We'll start with the X words, the most powerful words of the English language. There are 20 and they're helping words. This is a review. We did this in general lesson one. Okay, so there are four families of X words or auxiliary verbs and they come in the be family, the have family, the do family, and the modal family. Can you remember there are in the be family there are five, starting with am. Do you remember? Am is remember? Am is are was were. Now, am, is, are, was, were, the B family, can go with two verb forms. Now, the verb forms are on the bottom here. We have verb 1, which is the base form. We have verb ing, which is called the continuous form. And verb 3, which in grammar they call it the past participle. But let's just call it verb three. So when you have am, is, are, was, were in a sentence and there is another verb, there are two possibilities, two forms that you can put. Either verb ing or verb three. B plus verb ing gives you the continuous, right, the continuous form. And B plus verb three gives you the passive. That's how you make the passive. Okay, have. Have has three inside, three parts. Do you remember? Have, has, had. Now, ha the have family, the do family, and the modal family only connect with one verb form. So, have, has, had plus verb one, have, had, have, has, had plus verb ing, or have, has, had plus verb three. Yes, verb three. Have, has, had plus verb three gives you what we call the perfect tense, the perfect. Okay, do. Do ha also has three. Do. Do, does, did. And this goes only with verb one, verb ing, or verb three. Verb one, do, does, did, if you have do, does, did in a sentence and there is another verb, that verb will be verb one. And then the modal family. The modal family has nine. There are nine members of the modal family. And they are, do you know them? Can, could, will, can you say them all? They're can, could, will, would, shall, should, may, might, and must. Right? These are the nine members of the modal family. And they go with only one form of the verb. Is it verb one? Is it verb ing? Or is it verb three? It's verb one. And now have plus verb three is 100 percent of the time. Do plus verb one is 100 percent of the time. And modal plus verb one is also 100 percent of the time. So this is how they go together. So let's do a short dialogue and we will do an exercise finding the X words. Okay, so we have Berk and Denise talking. I will say the dialogue slow and then I will say it normal speed. You can stop the video and you can repeat many, many times until you feel comfortable, until you feel good. Okay. Do you have the tea I asked for, Denise? Do you have the tea I asked for, Denise? 
Now notice this is very interesting because when we say asked, asked slowly, let me make this bigger. When we say asked slowly, it sounds like asked, asked. But when we say asked quickly in a sentence, do you have the T I asked for, Denise? It actually sounds like asked, asked for, asked for. It's just normal speaking. When you speak quickly, you say, do you have the T I asked for, Denise? But when you speak slowly, you say, do you have the T I asked for, Denise? And Denise says, no, Berk, I'm sorry. I've been very busy today. Here we have two V's. I've been very busy today. V. So you can practice your V sound if V is a problem for you. It is for many, many people. Also, notice that Denise says, I'm sorry. She says, I'm sorry. We use I'm sorry many, many, many times. Uh, we don't, in Turkish, um, üzgünüm, üzgünüm, is I'm sorry. But she doesn't mean, or he doesn't mean I'm sorry here. And for Turkish, you would say kusura, kusuruma bakma, something like that. You say kusura bakma, and this means here in English, I'm sorry. So, no, Berk, I'm sorry. I've been very busy today. No, Berk, I'm sorry. I've been very busy today. Well, when can I expect it? Can I expect it in four minutes? Well, when can I expect it? Can I expect it in four minutes? Now here, this is also interesting, especially for Turkish speakers, because w you have one word, beklemek, but in English it has two meanings, wait for and expect. And expect, you know, the difference is wait for is when you actually wait for. I'm waiting for the water or I'm waiting for my friend wait for you're expecting your friend to come so you're standing in one place waiting expect is when you believe that something will happen for example if I have five students and I'm going to class I expect all five students to be there to to be in class. That's another way of expect. So, Berk wants to know when can he expect his tea? He, he wants his tea. Wh well, when can I expect it? Can I expect it in four minutes? Now, here's another thing. Remember, if you remember in, in lesson one, that in Turkish, you would say um, four minutes later. So, you would say dört um, dakika sonra means four minutes later but in English notice we say in four minutes we don't we do not say four minutes later can I expect it in four minutes we we use later but not in this not for this so can I expect it in four minutes and Denise says no I'm sorry I'm in the middle of something right now. I'm in the middle of something right now. I'll have to get back to you later. No, I'm sorry. I'm in the middle of something right now. I'll have to get back to you later. Again, you can stop the video and you can practice saying this very fast. Okay. Here's also the something, thing, thing, thing. You can practice your TH, TH. Okay, but when? I really need some tea to wake up. I was working on my homework all night. 
Okay, but when? I really need some tea to wake up. I was working on my homework all night. I'll get back to you in ten minutes. I'll get back to you in ten minutes. Okay, so you can practice this dialogue again and again. Now, I want you to take time and find the X words and their verbs. Stop the video and look for there are seven. There is seven in this video. So look for them and then turn on the video and start again. Okay, stop the video. Okay, I will pause. Okay, welcome back. So number one. Number one was do and have. You see that? Do and have at the top. Why? Because the X word is do the verb must be verb one or the base form do you have the tea I asked for Denise number two v ben right this v ben this is have and ben why because the X word is have the verb must be verb three Remember, that's 100% of the time. Number three, can expect. Well, when can I expect it? Can is a modal, so expect is verb one. Number four, another can expect. Right? Can I expect it in four minutes? Right? Can is a modal, expect is verb one. Number five, all have, right? All have, which is will. I'll have to get back to you later. Numbers three, four, five, and seven are modals, right? Because the X word is a modal, the verb must be verb one or the base form. Number six, was working. I was working on my homework all night. Why? Because the X word is be, the verb must be either verb ing or verb three. And number seven, will get, will get. And again, because the X word is a modal, the verb must be verb one or the base form. Okay, that ends part two. We'll move on to part three. What time is it? Huh. <sighs>